What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. Today we're here to talk about Chromebook video editing and how to add a video or picture into your video. Now the technical term for this is called picture in picture or PIP for short. Now this is a cool feature you can place in your videos and you can pair it with other effects. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are in PowerDirector. I have the paid version which unlocks extra features. I'm going to be creating a movie of just moments from my channel. In this movie, I'll have one main clip and three picture in picture videos. The goal of this video is to have it no longer than one minute. First, we'll start by choosing our main clip. To do this, we'll need to click on that film and music icon in the top left hand corner. Now you can see this brings up our videos by default and the video I'm looking for is in the power director folder. So I'm going to click on that folder. Now I'm going to go with the first clip here, so we're going to tap on that. And you can see that that clip is going to turn blue, and that gives us two options. We have the plus option, which would add that clip to the timeline, and then we have that play option, which would play that clip. Now we want to add this to the timeline, so I'm just going to hit the plus icon. Next, we want to add our picture and picture clip. So we're going to click on the square icon overlaid on the square and that's going to bring up the text options by default. Now, of course, we wanna add a clip, which would be a video. So we're gonna have that camera icon next. That's where all our videos would be. But we could also add a picture if we wanted to. That's what the picture icon is for. And then we also could add stickers, which is what that smiley icon is for. So again, we wanna add a clip. We're gonna tap on the camera icon. And again, all our pips are going to be in that same folder titled Power Director. So I'm gonna tap on Power Director. That's gonna bring up all our clips. Now we're gonna click on the next three videos after that main video, because we already added the main video. We're just gonna tap the plus icon for each one and that is going to add the three pips to our timeline. Now we're gonna back out of this by tapping on the back arrow on the top left hand corner, and we're gonna have to hit this a few times. Now here we are at the main screen of this project, and if we were to go ahead and play this, it would sound really noisy because in each clip we have voiceovers, and then we also have music playing. So we wanna mute each clip. Now to mute each clip, we're gonna tap on each clip itself, and this is gonna bring up a toolbar. And then we're gonna look for the volume option in that toolbar, we're gonna to tap on it, and then we're gonna tap on the speaker. That's going to mute this clip, and then we're gonna verify that by just tapping OK. And we're gonna repeat this process for each clip. Now, if we go ahead and play this project, we shouldn't have any noise, but you'll notice that it only looks like we have the main clip and then one picture in picture. And that's because the other two picture in pictures are laid underneath the first picture in picture. So we gotta move things around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the pause icon and we're gonna to move to the beginning of this project again. And you can see that that last pip it has an option to resize that. So we're going to resize it, we're gonna make it smaller, and that's gonna show our next pip underneath. We're gonna do the same thing with that one. We're gonna resize it to about the same size as the previous one, and then we'll see the third one here. We can also resize that. Now, if we go ahead and hit play, again, you can't see the other two, and that's because we actually have to move them around. But I wanna move them around at this transition you just seen. So we're gonna pause this, and we're going to scoot back until we start to see this transition here. We got to make sure that we get it at just the right spot. So I'm going to say about halfway through. Now we can go ahead and drag our pips to different spots where they won't interfere with the main clip. Now I'm going to tap anywhere on the screen so I don't have anything selected. We're going to rewind to the beginning and then we're going to hit play again and see what this all looks like. So this looks pretty good, but again, these clips, they aren't appearing where that transition in the main clip is. So we still need to fix that. We're going to hit that pause icon and we're going to go back to that transition, which is about right in this area, about halfway. We're gonna go about right there and we're gonna enter a split. Now this just makes everything a little bit easier because I can drag each pip to that split there. And now we're gonna go ahead and play this again and see what we get. So each pip should come in at about that transition time. There we go, looks pretty good. Now I wanna make this look even better. I wanna make each pip fade in. So we're gonna hit that pause icon 
and we're going to click on each pip individually and we're going to look for an option called fade and then we're going to click fade in and i'm going to repeat this for each pip so again we're going to click anywhere on the screen just to make sure we don't have anything selected we're going to hit that play icon there and this is going to get everything going and then these should come in and fade in at about that transition so that's looking pretty good. Now, if we go back to the beginning and play the video, each pip should come in at about that same time, but also fade in. Now, this is going to look kind of rough because this video hasn't been produced yet, but in the final production, it should look pretty smooth. So now I'm going to hit that pause icon. Now I want to make each pip look better by adding a mask around it and then feathering the edges. And this actually makes it look a little bit cooler. So we're going to tap on a pip there. We're going to tap on mask and then we're going to tap on rectangle. And then I'm going to adjust this to about 15. Now this one is going to be a little bit harder to see only because there's nothing around it really. So on the next one here, we're gonna do the same thing and it should be a little bit more apparent. We're gonna select rectangle again, and then we're gonna adjust this to about 15. And then we're gonna head to our last one here. Again, we're gonna click mask again. We're gonna click on rectangle and feather this to about 15 as well. And then we'll just click anywhere on the screen, make sure nothing is selected. We'll go back to the beginning and we'll hit play. So this is starting to look pretty good. Now we're gonna hit the pause icon. Now, of course, we have to remember that we dragged each one of those pips five seconds ahead. So if we go to the end of the timeline, they're also going to overlay the main video and then extend out by five seconds. So we wanna even things out. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the main video here and that's gonna bring me to the end automatically. And then I'll tap on each pip, we'll hit the split and then we'll trash the end of each one and we'll repeat this for each pip, and that's going to even everything out. So now what this is going to do is going to make sure that nothing overextends at the end and everything is going to stop playing altogether. Now we're gonna go back to the beginning here and you can tell that this isn't going to be very exciting because obviously you can hear my voice over, but we don't have any music. So we're gonna tap on that film with the music icon there, and then we're going to tap on the music and then we're gonna tap on YouTube Music. And YouTube Music is from the YouTube Audio Library. This is copyright free music. So if you're interested in copyright free music, just do a Google search on YouTube Audio Library and you can use any music there. Sometimes they require you to list the music in the description, but most of the time you don't even have to do that. So I'm going to add a music track here. We're gonna scroll down until we see Open and Night. And I'm going to tap on that. And then I'm going to add that to the timeline by hitting the plus icon. Now, the same thing goes with the music. It's going to be a long music track, so it's going to overextend everything. So we're going to move to the very end of the other projects here and tap on any one of them. And then we can scroll down to the music. We could tap on it. We can tap on split and then we can trash the rest of that. Now, I don't want the music to just automatically stop. It would sound pretty bad. We want to actually fade out, so I'll tap on the music, we'll tap on the volume, and then we'll tap on fade out, and then we'll click OK. So now everything's going to end at the same time, but the music will also fade out. That's going to be very nice. So that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I can go ahead and produce this project by clicking on that icon with the film and arrow logo. And then we can go and click on save to gallery or SD card. And then we can click on HD 720p or any other format we would like. And then we can click produce. Now this is going to go ahead and produce the project and then we can view it after.
So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, this is something new I'm doing. Comments may also be featured in my Instagram stories as my way to show my appreciation. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or I would like to buy and anything that you do buy from the storefront does support the channel. The next way you can support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to support the channel is just by clicking that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are ways to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers. If new viewers see lots of likes and subscribers, they're gonna think that the videos are helpful and the channel is worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out.